Hello and welcome to my 23rd speed painting. This time we are doing a portrait of Kevin Spacey in his role as a power-hungry politician in House of Cards. This was done in the beginning just for fun, but luckily I was nominated to be the topic of Cupra's weekly challenge. So I put some more effort into it and now I'm going to upload it. Um, as you can see I'm using a grid um, to keep the proportions in line and this works really well. Um, of course it's considered to be cheating and I concur but um, it's such an efficient way to get good results so that I definitely wanted to do this. Um, I'm quite uncertain if it stops me from learning or if it's just uh, an aid and uh, at some point I won't need it anymore. I'm not sure, maybe I have to um, make the grid bigger just in case. Um, so you see me here having the um, rough sketch um, just to have everything in order and um, portraits I did uh, some years ago very frequently and I kind of think that I'm it's one of the better things I can do so um, I'm kind of confident in it but it's it's not so much fun as doing fantasy stuff and more original um, stuff. But now and again it's it's always good to do this. Um, for me it's a more an, uh, uh, it's a good practice for shadows and lighting just to kinda copy it from the reference you see ah okay there's light and there's shadow when there's a black line normally there always has to be a, a highlight and uh, directly be, uh, next to it. So these are things you learn from just copying a portrait I believe. Um, so House of Cards is one of my favorite TV shows at the moment. Um, I watch it frequently with my girlfriend and it's I think it's um, really has a big impact. It's a, it's a bit like um, Breaking Bad in that regard because the character is uh, kind of sinister and you're not sure if you really uh, like him or not. Um, and I don't want to spoil it so much, but it's it's about this power-hungry politician who does everything uh, to step up in, in line and get more power. Money is not so important to him, but having control, um, being able to dictate others what they have to do is um, what he's all about and he plays with uh, his victims I would say plays them out so it's uh, kind of interesting to see um, yeah on a, on a more private note I'm, I'm getting a smudge card um, soon I don't know if you know but uh, it's, it's like a little glove for your hand so that when you're painting you do not um, have the friction on uh, that's on your hand that maybe kind of differs so I I just get it just for fun but maybe uh, it will improve because then uh, the friction will always be the same and um, normally it can differ if you just if you use your hand on the tablet so I will I will keep you informed if that really helps or not and yes that's quite all I have to say. A um, bit more about the painting. So I mainly used two brushes only. My standard round hard brush uh, set to minimal opacity and then I use some airbrush when I want to make um, areas um, more light or dark and uh, I, I kind of switch um, from one to the other um, and get get everything more fine and I zoom in a lot um, because when I, I zoom out I don't see the details um, that I need to work on to make it look more photorealistic so the more I zoom in the more realistic it gets I feel mm, and I used at the end a texture brush um, just to get uh, all the wrinkles he has on his face um, kind of try to imitate it. Uh, I'm not really happy with that but it's better than nothing, better than the uh, really clean surface that he had before. Um, yes and that's about it. 
Um, I'm not sure on where to improve now. I know that I have to because there are guys who make um, far more realistic drawings, but I'm uncertain on how to approach that. So maybe my eye is not used to see where the difference is between my um, reference picture and my drawing or I lack um, technique or I do use the wrong brush I don't know so if you know um, please tell me and yes so hope you like the video and see you next time bye